Hello, Sydney. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Nightmare Culture. In this episode, I wanted to talk about a up-and-coming asymmetrical horror game that's going to be pretty obscure, which is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, before I get started even talking about the video game itself, since it's my first video to do on it, I'm going to discuss the film itself, kind of give you a brief history, just in case you do not know anything about the film. Because, you know, I don't know what you guys know. So the history of the film is made in 1988, and it's just about aliens that look like clowns that invade a small town and want to basically kill and harvest humans, drink their blood. Yeah, it's, it's a movie that never took itself serious, which was great. That's what made it such a cult following. And it's considered the king of all B-horror films. I remember watching it when I was about 12 years old and just laughing and honestly really enjoying the film. It was perfect for that time period. So why not make a game about it? So what do we know about the game? Really, not a lot. In 2022, it was announced that they were going to make a video game, an asymmetrical horror game of killer clowns from outer space. The company that was going to develop it was called Good Shepherd Entertainment. And it was planned for release in 2023 for the PS4, PS5, basically every system. And the PC, of course. And the only thing we found out later is that in August of this year, 2023, was that Ilphonic came in, relieved Good Shepherd of their duties, and is now the co-developer of the game with TerraVision. Now, of course, if Ilphonic sounds familiar to you, you should know Ilphonic from Ghostbusters game, Predator, but the main one is they were co-developers for Friday 13th, the game. So immediately, when I found out they took over, I perked up, because now I'm excited for this game. Not that I wasn't, but as many asymmetrical horror games we have, it was starting to become kind of an oversaturated genre in the market. So I was kind of just, oh, here comes another asymmetrical horror game. Is it going to flop? If you've seen some of my previous videos, I discuss how asymmetrical horror games just usually always fail. They have a big rise, they're fun for an hour or two, and then they fail. So what will make this game different? I don't know. The fact that it's such a small cult following kind of scares me and worries me that it's not going to do as good as I would think. But at the same time, I think I'm going to be shocked of how well this game actually does. So we have, of course, some gameplay trailers. You know, they, it looks good. If you go to Elphonic's Twitter account, they just every now and then will post a picture or two, never discussing anything about release date. So we have nothing on that as of now. We just know it's in development. The only thing we know about TerraVision is they've done a game about something from outer space before, and it's like a meta game. Don't know, maybe they're the perfect company for this. I like the fact that it's a small company because it means they're gonna take it extremely serious because they're looking to have that first huge success. So I think this is gonna be a really fun and unique asymmetrical horror game, very obscure. And it's gonna be about obviously killer clowns that attack the citizens of Crescent Cove and you're going to be able to play, as you can tell by the trailer, different characters from that town. Seems like you're going to be able to fight back, a lot of weapons to fight back. It kind of almost reminds me of a mix between last year, The Nightmare, and Friday 13th, The Game. I'm sure there's going to be tons of great weapons. The funny little zappers the clowns have. It looks like you're going to have three clowns versus, I can't tell the number of survivors. It could be four, it could be five, it could be six. At this point, I'm just spouting out numbers. But when it comes to clowns, you got Jumbo, Fatso, Shorty. I think there's going to be Rudy, Spiky, Slim from the film. So that rhymed. So it's going to be some good content. I think obviously they'll be able to make a lot of DLC with it. I honestly am looking forward to this game. Just make it something fun. Maybe we won't have a crazy survivor bullying system like Dead by Daylight. Maybe we won't have overbalancing issues let's be honest we probably will but maybe it won't be as bad as sex chainsaw massacre and to be honest i actually think and i'm gonna say this now before the game's ever released if it is released i think this game will top text chainsaw massacre my opinion that's that's i'm gonna say on that but that's it that's all we know about this up and coming game unless there's things i don't know i did all my research i could on the web if you know something different let me know in the comments below if you're excited for this game 
Also let me know that. And do you think Killer Clowns from Outer Space will beat Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I, I just personally, I do. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.